Yeah. Okay, the Hustings. A poem written to Leroy Jones two days after the election of John Fitzgerald Kennedy to the presidency of the United States. The future sucks all forward. Now, the past has been removed by progress. Cuba wants to make its own sugar. The Soviet Union has already contaminated the moon. China wants to destroy the United States. Leroy Jones spits out the nation. I do too. I stay at home. I do not go abroad. I like the West End of Main Street, the policeman of the beat. I greet crossing the street off duty in his top coat, Ben Smith, the new president's roommate, Joe at Tally is making fun of what boots it would take to clothe me if I wear overshoes on a damp day like today, the girl and the waiting station says the colors of the scarf and the green hat I wear clash. I took them off, so I said, she can see me. I try to kiss my wife as she gets on the bus. She says, not on the street. I go off feeling like the president receiving the plaudits of the populace on a day when Leroy Jones has asked me, it seems to me, to say why one should continue to live in the United States when newspapers tell lies about everything which goes on and the new president says long range American views underneath the eyes of the human race I cry lies on a future now is the pasty face of young girls and boys lift the cock in my pants to my woman's behind the open end character of future says to me Leroy Jones stay in the age of your nation when all those new nations want is the lies your own nation gives to the sun that the sun is a fire germs of the race can't give back for the life. We are walking the streets on fire with ourselves for wares, for exchange, for the fire of our cocks in the ass of the woman we love and without any abasement to the new child of the new president. France also has been deprived of the past and the youth of the world is already in love with wristwatches. I am in love with you. Are you in love with the future? Do you believe in what has been your life or in these bundles of the promise of the use of human beings en masse, democracy en masse in transistors. I don't believe in planets any more than I believe than any than one thing more that any one of us is short is good enough to answer the question how life equals its own creation in the eyes of men and the women is the race they run an election is their own demanding that they have everything an uncontaminated earth shall offer them, and afterwards their sophistication, not in the rumpus and the crowds of present popular sovereignty. It isn't the moon which is in danger, but that's the singleness of the sun, which is either, which is neither Soviet nor capitalist, may be made into a cheap one. Leroy Jones, my name is Charles Olson. I live at 28 Fort Square, Gloucester, Massachusetts, in the world. Otherwise, I am what I am able to do. I believe I would like to die with my eyes as open as I imagine. The only way one can imagine God's eyes is they are open forever in contemplation of any one of us. That creation can only close with those eyes and our own can look into the same fire. That we don't have anything, no matter what a future, except not to be blinked in that we have to also stare into what is as hidden as it is to his eyes because we are whatever the human race can be in the imagination required of it that it be what it imagined to be, that it has existed and that exists at all if necessity exists. And you and I are as much examples as crowds demanding youth taking and the new inventing ways to have more. There is no let up and no giving over to crowds, youth or invention. And this string which ties me to you, to the John Cronin policeman in top coat at this end two days later, Two days after the election of a man I happen to know as President of the United States, no matter that its fate is second rate now and that the new frontier is decadence and the future is the racist future all over the place, no one can, as Garrett Lansing said, commemorate energy. Our life, Leroy Jones, is not an energy like the sun's. Our life is a purpose of a string or a thread forced out of our own eyes as the string of a spider craving to meet the eyes of the purpose of what we call the eyes of the fire in the eyes of the blood of our own creation that one's mother and father put one on the earth is the sun's doing and the rest of it is what one means by why one is alive. I don't think there is anywhere but where I am which can bring me closer to what I shall look like when if I do look as I would look 
out of my eyes into John Cronin's of yours or John Fitzgerald Kennedy's whose eyes, when, where, the matter of the future is more yours and mine than at this moment the deliverable is patently provable the world over good enough that all shall eat and have the television view of the waters which surround and have that brightest Venus of all stars except the sun and the moon for all the years so far of the human race. I don't care that water is the atmosphere of Venus or that pop is the drink of the masses. I care that there is not enough known yet to support you in your eyes or myself and mine when that day comes that the moments that I do believe are strung strong enough like what looks like spit which a spider makes those things of. I'll have the ability to wire you. Please come immediately. There is no need to worry. All is here. Hmm. Interesting. I remember that. Sure, I remember that. Well, it's, you know, it's what I s said that one wants uh, human connection more than anything else. Even in the midst of what one fights for, one still demands uh, humanity as a confirmation that one is alive, you know. And uh, that's what that is. Everything is here, but everything is where you've got to go, whatever you're looking for, whatever you see. So it's the, it's the there and the here connecting, you know, the same thing. <laughs>